Well guys, today is February the 26th and uh, today I'm out doing a little bit of smelt fishing, trout fishing, uh, whatever comes along here. Uh, I've never fished in this place before but I know uh, my buddy Tyler done quite well here and you can see there's a couple little fishing shacks over there and on off in the distance kind of low there's a job to see that's uh, Pert Regional. And I was going to come out yesterday but uh, we had a blizzard and the schools were closed so uh, you know I never made a video in a while so uh, I really wanted to get out today and uh, so uh, Anyway, I'm going to drill a few holes there, and uh, but before while I'm doing that, uh, I'll show you a few clips. You know, uh, when I was taking up my traps and that, and this is a this is a brand new rapella right here, and I'm having a bit of trouble with the stirrer with her, but uh, she seems to be working okay there now. So so anyway, here's a few clips of taking up the traps, and uh, I'll get busy and drill a few holes here. I guess a brand new ice auger. Stirrer not connecting on, so now I got to cut my. Uh, Ice fishing trip uh, short. Uh, sucks, I guarantee you that. Brand uh, <laughs> oh, new ice auger. Uh, I was actually going to do a little bit of ice fishing today and uh, had a little trouble with the ice auger there. Uh, but anyway, so now I'm going to take up the last of my uh, Merton traps. Uh, I was going to do this tomorrow, but uh, since the auger is not working, uh, I'll uh, finish off the day now and uh, take these traps up out of it because. Uh, uh, Wednesday, me and wife was going to plan on going back out to that pond and do a bit of ice fishing. It's supposed to be a little bit milder, but uh, that depends now if I get the time to fix the agar or not. But uh, I mean, a brand new agar, uh, <laughs> not good. But, uh, but anyway, you can't see it right here, but I think there's a merton hung down here. Man, beaver tail for bait there. Uh, throw that one side there now. We want uh, black bears uh, beating off the boxes through the summer. So, uh, so anyway, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm not really sure. I don't have many traps here, so I don't expect a whole lot. So at least I ain't skunked anyway. So, uh, so that's good. Two of the barbers was going again here at one time. No, is that on there? <laughs> oh boy, I gotta love it. Bait's getting a little bit loose on that hook. I must have left the party. Let's see what's going on over here. So that's great. Oh, another one back over there. And there you go. So I should have had another barber with me. And just keep watching the barbers, you know, I'm probably better off. I might have one, I gotta check. Alright. Down there is moving. Down there was moving. There he goes a little bit. And this one over here is moving. <laughs> barber fishing. <laughs> Woo! Oh, that one's not there. I was going to haul up tree there real quick. Nice big smelt. And uh, so I'm just basically barber fishing here now. <laughs> Whoa, snarl, not good. What have I got done? Take that bobber off and see what we got done here. Nothing worse than a snare when you're fishing, eh? Whoa. Whoa. 
loop there. There we go. Now, dial it back on here again. And there must have moved on. It's pretty cool. Seen tree barbers going one time. Oh, there you go. Oh, this one over here is going again. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's off. Woohoo! Oh, there goes it. I'll saddle up there again. Anyway, don't rely on getting a few, you know. Well, Bob over there going. Woos. Something there. He's moving slightly. He's smiling, I guess. Well, guys, a couple of days after I took up my uh, Merton traps there, uh, I went out uh, to do a little ice fishing in a pond. And uh, it was a pond that I never uh, fished in before. And uh, same thing, I had trouble with the, I had with the ice auger again. Uh, I drilled one hole and uh, I tried. There was near one, so I went uh, near fish there. So I, I went down to the uh, end of the pond. And I was going to drill a couple more holes and the starter started to slip on her again. Look there. By the time we got root, same thing like for sure. Yeah, so. Oh, it's a night fish over here. Whoa, anyway. oh, just got a nice trout that time. Oh, that's a beautiful fish right there. Oh, about 13 inches, I suppose. Oh, yeah, he's going to be. It's gonna be a nice one in the pan uh, for supper. Tell us that barber there going too. Ooh. Getting back down there again. Look, just got another lovely trout. And uh, that one took my bait. Ooh, right behind the camera now. Oh, <laughs> and I got a smell. Get a little more bait to put on there. Put this one back in the hole over here. This is where I got the trout to. Yeah. This bobber here was going again. Guys, just got another small trout. Well, anyway, it's starting to clear off nice here now. You could uh, see it around a bit better. Uh, 
and uh, every now and then like, you get it comes in little spurts. You get a few, and then he slack off. When he slacks off, I uh, cleans them up a little bit. They got five, uh, five nice trout just so far. So uh, I guess you can all guess uh, pretty easily now what we're gonna have for our supper when we go back home. And another small trout. After letting, uh, after letting go quite a few trout here today. Bob over here was moving. Yeah, just got another uh, beautiful trout. Uh, you know, I love fishing in these places, you know, where you get the uh, trout and smilts on the same spot. This, ah, I love it. Whoa, another trout. Woohoo, trout's hitting on you. Cleared off there for a little bit, but it's starting to snow there again. And uh, but I'm going to hit her back there now. Uh, I ended up with seven nice trout there, and uh, I let quite a few small ones go. And I never counted the smilts; it was enough there for a good three meals probably. So, uh, so I'm really happy with that. I'm going to go back, cut up some uh, pork, make some scrunchions, and just gonna, uh, toss them in some flour, a lightly salted, and I'm going to fry them out. That'll be uh, that's what we're going to have for our supper. Be really nice, you know, with a salad and a nice fresh uh, slice of bread. So, uh, so looking forward to that. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it for this one. So, uh, so like always, thanks for watching, and uh, until next time.